Hello everyone. I am Bruno Moya, the creator of Notion AI in my mind. And uh, as a lot of you requested, this is a short tutorial on how to set it up. As uh, I have seen, a lot of people have trouble uh, getting to, to work the, the server. Uh, first of all, you have different ways of installing the server. Uh, if you go here on the on the wiki or down here on the description, uh, installing the Notion AI My Mind server, you can see there are plenty ways of installing it. We have uh, on Linux, there's a script on Windows. It there's a an installation uh, setup uh, executable, or you can install it manually in case you also want to take a look at the code and modify it. Today I will be showing how to install it using Windows uh, as I'm running on a Windows computer right now. So first of all, uh, if you are on here, you can go and uh, click on this button to, that will take you to the release tab where you can see here the installation script. Or if you are on the main website, you can go to the releases tab and you see there's here the installation. We simply download it. If you see like a Windows Smart screen, you don't have to worry about it. It's just because uh, this installer is made by, by me and as open source program with Python and everything. So that's why maybe Windows may recognize it as a virus, but as you see, all the code is published on GitHub, so you can take a look at it. And uh, since I started the project, I've always think about the privacy. So this window does pop up. Simply click next, next, and next. As you see, uh, three, three clicks. Pretty easy, right? This will extract the server on your computer in this folder. You can uh, take a look at it and see the folder for yourself. And you will see that the server is installed there. As I said, there are plenty ways of installing it. But I believe this is the easiest one for non-programming, maybe user people that have a Windows computer. So the server is installed. Uh, you can click on and next and uh, launch the server. This will launch this window. This window is the Notion AI My Mind server. It's the server that the extension, the Mind extensions contact to uh, AI tag and add the content to the Notion uh, collections. Maybe the server takes a bit to set up because of the TensorFlow. Now it will ask for a port. A port is a, a number that recognizes the server on the network. A port can be, for example, uh, whatever you, you want. Uh, for example, don't use 80 because maybe 80 is used by other programs on your computer. I usually use, for example, 8080. And so, uh, the server IP address will pop up automatically for you if you don't know the, the URL. Here, uh, enter the URL. You must enter the URL from your uh, structure in, in Notion. Uh, if we go to, to Notion, I'll open Notion. I have here this structure. Every, and this structure has inside uh, different collections. We simply go into, uh, into here and we can control and copy or maybe we can go here to share and copy link, for example. And this is the URL we have to enter here. Then these properties, customization. Uh, if you go, for example, into this collection, and for example, when here we see that we have these properties, AI tags, mine extension, URL tags. These are properties that give us info that the uh, server will add. AI tags are the tags by the AI tagging system that will tag images. 
For example, you have an image on a website and it will give tags like there's a cat, there's a, a dog. Main extension will tell if the content was added from the phone or from the uh, browser extension. So you can also filter the content by that. And tags are the newest creation that you can add tags from the extension on the fly. And where all also used. So uh, here, the properties customization is because you can enter a custom name for these uh, properties and you have to add it here so the server knows uh, the property's name. I will, for example, I have here my property AI tax. So I will change it to AI tax. Then here you can uh, log in uh, with your email and password from Notion. If you do so, you need to go to uh, Notion settings and uh, allow to to log in with a password and email, or you can uh, also log in with the token V2. Uh, if you enter the email and password, it will not be saved. That is for security. And so, if you uh, shut down the server and turn it on again, uh, you will need to enter the email and password again. The token V2, it, it is saved it, uh, on the computer. That's because it's more safe, because when you close or sign uh, out of your Notion account, this token expires. So if someone has access to that token uh, and it has expired, they can't enter your Notion account. Uh, for example, a quick way to get the token V2, for example, is go into the extension. We can go into the extension settings. And you will see right down here, we have the token V2. We can just copy and uh, paste in here. Also, we hope if we could, we could have started by going to the options and simply setting up the the server IP address here and clicking save will also take you to the customization uh, settings and automatically auto-completing. There are plenty of ways of uh, actually getting the token or logging in with email and password. Then the image tagging options, there are different tagging systems. Clarify is a company and it tags the images on the cloud server they have. So I don't know about uh, privacy issues, but about the uh, GPU issues, they are fixed because uh, it uses the cloud system. It does not use GPU of your computer. Instead, you can use TensorFlow that is locally on your server working, but uses more GPU of your system. So if you enter a Clarify API key, you uh, are you using the Clarify API tagging system? If not, uh, you are using the TensorFlow tagging system. Here, the confidence threshold means that uh, from for every tag on an image, the system gives like a percentage. And so this percentage, uh, you can put a threshold in here. For example, if you put it up 0 0.10, means a 10% percent percentage threshold means uh, images with a tax having a percentage uh, above uh, 10 uh, will be saved. And those uh, with a percentage lower than 10 will not be added to, to your mind. You can modify this number. I usually put this number here as it gives me a good result of tax. As you see, the server has been configured successfully. If you are, for example, on the Android app, you can simply install the app and scan the QR code and it will be configured automatically. And also, if you are on this extension on the browser, you can simply copy the server URL that is given here. And uh, as I said, uh, right click, open settings, uh, you uh, paste it in here and save. All right. Uh, I hope you all uh, follow the tutorial easily and it helps out people that uh, are lost uh, on how to 
to install the server. Maybe, as I'm from Spain, I will add a, a, a translation subtitles to this video for people from uh, speaking Spanish-speaking countries. Alright, uh, thank you everyone for all the support and the almost 600 people that has installed the, the extension. Uh, it uh, makes me very happy and I will keep continuing working on it.